They are fast and they are deadly. The tornado that ripped through this small town received the second highest possible danger rating, the type of tornado that is almost mythic in its scope and power. A tornado known as an F4. Barbara Watson rates tornadoes for the National Weather Service. She goes to areas where tornadoes have hit and assesses the damage done. Can you, what was the building before it was e either it was one of these? Taller than that, we just remodeled, had a new roof put on. Okay. Watson uses the Fujita scale to rate twisters. Created by tornado expert Ted Fujita and adopted by the Weather Service in 1971, it uses damage assessments as a gauge to estimate wind speeds. For example, an F4 can reduce strong buildings to rubble with winds up to 260 miles per hour. While it allows them to classify tornadoes, it also helps them better understand a tornado's potential to create havoc. A tornado results in a range of destruction, but its ultimate classification depends on the worst of the damage. This tornado has been classified in F4, although not all of the damage was considered that severe. The Fujita scale also helps us understand why some buildings are destroyed and nearby structures are spared. Homeowner Jeff Posey's house was leveled by this F4 tornado. There's a screen porch, this was a kitchen. Then it, that was all one story, then it went to a two-story structure back past that. Watson explains that Posey's house was probably hit by a vortex a mini tornado that can spin off from the larger mass of swirling winds. When you have a very large tornado, uh, that tornado will break down into smaller vortices that are rotating around each other, uh, 50 yards wide at most. And so as that comes through, it's, it's kind of hit or miss as to whether or not one of those vortices are hitting you. The wind's instantly inside and the building begins to disintegrate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, in my mind, it's a little longer than that, but in reality, it was 10 seconds, it was gone. Thanks to radar and satellite technology, tornadoes now result in fewer casualties than they once did. Doppler radar, which bounces off condensation, has allowed the Weather Service to monitor storms that can spawn tornadoes. This is just the beginning. Forecasters can now warn people to seek shelter before a tornado strikes.